What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Fuel Air Spark YouTube channel. Um, we got a couple things to do today. We're going to be working primarily on my Jeep Liberty. Um, a couple weeks ago I changed the spark plugs, filmed a video, and some footage didn't come out. So we're going to address that. We're going to refilm some of that so that people know how to change the spark plugs. And we're going to fix the exhaust leak. Um, my very first YouTube video was how to fix an exhaust leak using tape. Um, it was a temporary fix i just wanted to see how it would do it lasted about six months all short trips the very first long trip on the highway i gave it a little gas to pass somebody and i the exhaust got real loud and i knew right away that something happened so we got some packages um we're gonna open them up see what we got Two exhaust clamps pipe RTV gasket maker and we have one more box right here Another pipe um, I'm not sure uh, Which pipe I need I bought two we're gonna see if I need both of them if I just need one of them um, But that's gonna happen today. So let's get going. So if you see my first video you saw the tape uh, it wasn't really put in the prime area because of this clamp right here. Um, so the right way would be to uh, replace all of this exhaust. But, you know, this is a beater. Don't really care about it that much. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take uh, some PB blaster. Or you could use WD-40 or any kind of penetrating lubricant. And uh, we're just going to soak... Uh, the bolts all right so we got it on um locks lifted it up in the air could have jacked it up could have just jacked up one side uh, but we got it on these chocks uh these bolts are 15 millimeters right here i already got one off can't see it there you can see it. So we're gonna get the other one off using this impact. So now we're gonna try to get this wrap off and then we're gonna measure how much we might have to cut this pipe and see if everything fits. So uh, we're gonna cut this exhaust pipe. Um, I scratched it a little bit. That's where we're gonna cut it. Um, still not sure if this pipe will fit over this, if it'll slip on. Gonna have to wait and see. Um, but remember to use hearing protection and uh, safety glasses. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get this on film. I'm gonna try.
Got it cut off. 20 bucks. Best 20 bucks you could ever spend. Harbor Freight. So I got this adapter from uh, Advanced Auto for like four bucks. It's gonna actually slide in like this and then over like that. So we're gonna put some a bead of ultra copper gasket maker. Need a gasket maker all the way around. I'm gonna slip this bad baby on. All the way. And we're gonna go on to the next step. Got the gasket maker all the way around this one. I'm gonna slide it in. So there we got the pipes in connected with the gasket maker. And now we just gotta hook up some clamps. All right guys, so here's the finished product. So we got the slip fit here, all right? And it's tightened down as, as much as it can go. Uh, you can see uh, I had a mismatch bolts. Doesn't matter, it's only temporary. Really solid, goes to this adapter, uh, two and um, two and a quarter right here to two and a half going over the adapter um copper rtv here copper rtv there and then uh, i noticed that this back here was rusted and loose so i just put rtv in it and i used a new clamp uh replaced this rusted clamp um it was moving a lot now it's barely moving so hopefully that, that fixed the exhaust for I don't know, a couple months. Um, I'm gonna go and start it up and see how it sounds. Still sounds like an exhaust leak, but it's a hell of a lot quieter than what it was. Maybe there's a, mu a hole in the muffler or something. Uh, we're gonna see how long I even have this car before I dump a lot of money into it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like this video. Um, go through uh, the description. If you need any of this stuff, buy it through that link. Everything that you do, uh, purchase through that link. Anything you purchase on Amazon through those links will give me some money uh, to put back into this channel. I'm really trying to help people. Um, not trying to do it for my own fun. It is a little bit of a hobby for me. Um, so thanks again. Have a good day.